Good day and welcome to Let's Talk, the social media program produced and presented by the Caribbean Examinations Council. Today on Let's Talk, we look at youth, science and technology. Our guests are Janeline Weeks from the Montserrat Secondary, Montserrat Community College and Jason Salmon from the Campion College in Jamaica. And they are participants in the 2017 SPICE program here at the University of the West Indies, Cave Hill Campus. Jason and Janelle, welcome to Let's Talk. Thank you. Thank you. So first of all, you guys are two very fortunate young people. You have been sponsored by the Caribbean Examinations Council for the SPICE program in 2017. Tell us how you felt when you heard that you were sponsored by CXC. Mm, I was very good. Well, I think I was um, shocked at first because I didn't get the news of my sponsorship immediately when I was told that I was accepted. Right. But I think... I don't, I don't know if to say I was a bit pressured because, you know, Caribbean Examination Council <laughs> oversees all the exams. Exams, you know? right. But I was actually very happy and very surprised and grateful for it. Okay. Uh, for me, it was interesting because initially I didn't actually get into the program immediately. I was actually waitlisted for quite some time. Okay. So when I actually heard that I got in and I later heard that CXC was my sponsor, I was exceptionally grateful for the opportunity that they gave me. So when you said you were waitlisted, this is previous years or in this particular time? No, during this application process. So uh, it wasn't that I immediately got in mm -hmm. uh, at May 1st when the deadline was. Right. Mm -hmm. It was that uh, after May 1st, they had told me that I was waitlisted. Right. So it, essentially that means that they didn't have a sponsor as yet. Right. So once they found a sponsor, then mm -hmm. they would give me the spot. So it CXC the to the rescue. Yeah, it was Basically, a safe situation yeah. for me. Okay. Yeah. And um, why did you apply to the SPICE program? Okay. Um, I, when I was in, I, well, I didn't always like science. Right. I think when I was in third form, I really got interested in physics. Okay. And then that drew me to engineering. And then when I learned of the program, which is actually, I believe, through the CXC website. Right. That I learned to, about SPICE, and then I was like, they, they specialize in science and engineering. So I thought that there was a lot I could learn from them. Okay. And you, program. Jason? Uh, it's honestly a STEM student's dream here in the Caribbean because okay. you get to learn about all of these different sciences. You get to learn about biochemistry, you get to learn about physics, etc. Well, at the same time, you also learn about essential things for the future. Mm. Uh, for example, programming, which is actually going to be um, very essential yeah. mm. in the near future. So. Mm -hmm. right. So tell us, at what level are you now in your respective schools? You're in Montserrat at the community college. I just completed my first year. So I'm of? Really of college. Okay. So I did um, CAPE in June mm. and we started my second year in September. Right. So what CAPE subjects have you taken? I took pure mathematics, applied mathematics, physics, biology and communication studies. Okay. Uh, at Campion I just finished law sixth form. Mm. Uh, I did biology, physics, chemistry, uh, pure mathematics and communication studies. So you guys must be very eager now waiting on the CAPE results on Saturday. <laughs> Yes? No? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put a plug here for the webmaster and the new app. So have you heard about the CXC Connect app where you can check your results? I heard about it, but I didn't know exactly like what it did. Okay. It it exists. What about you, Jason? It's the same case for me. Right. So you're not on the CXC Connect app. Once you download the app, you can actually check your results when they become available with the same credentials that you would have checked them on the CXC website. So you need to spread the word among your SPICE colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> right, so tell us, uh, how have you been enjoying the SPICE program? You've been in Barbados now for three, four weeks? Almost four weeks. Almost four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's been a pretty good experience, um, actually having to live with different people, living on the same campus. Right. It was the first time I ever had to like share rooms, like, share space, share um, bathrooms and everything. But aside from that, I think that it's good way to prepare us for, for our first year at university. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of assignments and we, we were taught different skills like time management and we kind of have to put that into play now, balancing sleep and work. Right. Uh, it's a lot of fun but at the same time it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So you get to meet 23 other uh, brilliant minds from the Caribbean, right? Right. So you have a lot of conversations, you get to learn about different Caribbean countries, mm -hmm. their cultures, their histories, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, uh, there's a lot of work to be done and if you actually plan on not disappointing yourself during the program <laughs> right. then you better do the work. I mean now it's week four and everyone is basically the most stressed that they've been throughout this entire program. 
Right. So tell us some of the projects that you have been working on. Are both of you working on the same project, for example? No. So tell us about your project first, Jason. Uh, okay, so my project's uh, entrepreneurship, programming, and electronics. So okay. entrepreneurship, uh, essentially we've dubbed our company Navatech. Navatech. And uh, we have an app, <laughs> or we plan to make an app right. uh, called Tor Caribbean. So okay. essentially it combines augmented reality and global positioning in order to point out specific locations of interest around the Caribbean. Okay. And um, upon arrival, it will actually give you information about it, and uh, that's it. So you're leveraging GPS technology and so on? Right. And then for programming, uh, essentially we're trying to take the concept of duck hunt, but make it our own. What's that for the unscientific among us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, duck hunt, it's a game from many, many years ago. Okay. Uh, essentially, you have a duck that randomly flies up mm -hmm. onto the screen and it flies all over the place and what you have to do is try and shoot the duck and if you waste a certain amount of bullets or number of bullets then the duck flies away okay it keeps going. so you lose the duck yeah <laughs> okay and finally uh, electronics mm -hmm. uh, everyone in the electronics class is doing the same thing so okay. we're essentially just designing wind turbines okay or rather the blades specifically for, for the wind turbine so let me let me um dwell on that a bit so renewable energy, I imagine, is part of the program that you have been doing here. Right. What are your views on the use of renewable energy in the Caribbean? Uh, I would say that it's very important to be shifting towards uh, renewable energy because mm. one, fossil fuels are dangerous. Uh, mm. Two, and expensive. Right. Mm -hmm. And two, we won't have them forever. Right. So we have a lot of sun, and of course we have a lot of breeze since most of us are islands. And in Jamaica, you have a lot of rivers. Right. So we could be using hydroelectricity, we could right. be using wind turbines, we could be using solar panels, and a lot of people have been making a move in order to use these different uh, methods of mm. alternative energy. But for me, I say it's a good step. Okay. So tell us, what are you doing in your areas and your projects? I like him, I'm doing computer programming entrepreneurship, but instead of electronics, I'm doing robotics. Okay. Um, in entrepreneurship, my group is working on making an app, designing an app that utilizes neural networks, that kind of um, analyzes business ideas that have been made from the past year and now. Right. Are we kind of working towards like entrepreneurs in the Caribbean and, and elsewhere so that they could enter like their business idea into the app and then it will tell them, it will basically be act as a risk assessment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And our computer programming group, we are doing a budget like a budget analyzer, we're doing we're doing different different types. We're doing one that um, calculates calculates debt and then tells you um, how lo how long you have okay. to to pay the debt. To repay the debt. Yeah, and it also helps you save and stuff like that. So you're gonna sell this to the governments of the region? Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think the I think the whole of the developing world can do with an app like that. That sounds like an awesome idea. I hope someone is watching this program who would actually be able to help you guys to bring this to fruition because mm -hmm. as you know in the developing world we are some of the most indebted countries on the globe and I mean if there's something that can tell us how to calculate these debts and how we should repay them in fact we should probably look at something to tell them how not to get into debt right yeah, yeah but that sounds like an awesome idea as well mm -hmm. yeah and you, finally robotics in robotics we're um, building underwater robots mm -hmm. that are going to well, there's going to be a, a cage at the bottom of the tank mm. that's going to be locked, and it's going to be um, balls, both ping pong balls that are, that float and golf balls that sink. Mm -hmm. And we have to use the robot to open the basket and retrieve the balls and put them in a another basket that's going to be at the top mm. on the surface of the water. So, and what's the whole lesson behind that? Um, we um, we we catch, we're actually going to be using programming okay. to help um, help the robot hover. Mm. as well as help with the arms, right. moving the arms. Mm. We're also using like electronics mm -hmm. to actually build the robot itself using motors and so on. Right, sound like some cool stuff. <laughs> yes? <laughs> okay, so tell us what, for both of you, what has been the most significant lesson from SPICE 2017? Uh, I would say definitely time management. Time management, uh -huh. okay. okay. Uh, because it's absolutely essential that you balance your time here. Mm. Uh, you get a lot of work to do, and if you don't complete it uh, at a certain time or dedicate enough time mm. to doing that work, then you're going to suffer. 
Okay. Because while you learn a lot of things in class, I mean, it's important to actually review everything mm -hmm. that you learn All right. so that you know it sticks. Because it's, it's intense. The program is intense. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it's it's pretty pointless for you to just go to class and mm -hmm. then say, okay, I know this, but okay. will you know it forever? Will right. You know it after you do the program. Mm -hmm. It's really what you have to make sure. I think I'd have to agree with Jason. Time management was something that we spoke about before mm -hmm. on the first week of the program. And like if I see it happening, I see it coming into action every single day. I have to set a schedule for myself every All afternoon, right. what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it. And I also have to work on different ways to study because with subjects like computer programming that I've never done before, I've had to figure out different ways to understand it such as like maybe reading um, different textbooks online or even watching YouTube videos. All right. Okay, so time management, I need to practice that here. So my final <laughs> question for you is, after SPICE, what's next? Uh, for me, uh, the profession that I'm thinking about most is being a biomedical engineer. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually preparing to apply to several universities. Right. Uh, most of them are in the U.S., mm -hmm. but I also plan to apply to UA at Mona as well. Okay. So I would be studying uh, either biochemistry or preferably biomedical engineering, of course. All right. Okay. Um, like Jason, I actually also have an interest in biomedical engineering. Okay. However, after coming to the program, I've actually been more interested in biochemistry, which is a topic that they, they, taught, they, taught, they teach here. Mm. I've never done it before, and it's, I find it rather interesting. Mm. I plan to take my SATs soon so that I can apply for universities um, in the U.S., Canada, and also here in the Caribbean, um, mm. UWE, St. Augustine. Okay. So your final word, thank you to CXC. I'm sure you want to say that before you leave the program. <laughs> yes. I'd like to say a huge thank you because um, this opportunity is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we could experience like at home. So uh, coming from a small island like Montserrat and meeting all these different people, I think that I'm very grateful for being handed this opportunity. Mm -hmm. yes, I want to say a big thank you to CXC as well. Uh, it's been a wonderful time here at Spice. Uh, it's given me a very good opportunity to improve myself, to uh, learn more about what I'm interested in and really you don't get many opportunities like this in my home country Jamaica so I'm definitely very grateful. Well I'm sure CXC it was um, CXC's pleasure and of course CXC continues to partner with the SPICE program each year to ensure that students like you can benefit from what SPICE has to offer. You have been looking at another Let's Talk program with the Caribbean Examinations Council. My guests today were two young, brilliant minds, one from Montserrat, um, Jenilyn Weeks from the Montserrat Community College, and Jason Salmon from the Campion College in Jamaica. I'm your host, Cleveland Sam. Goodbye.